हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज इन योर इंटरव्यू सो विल डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन इन डिटेल सो हाउ विल यू क्रिएट द पाइपलाइन फॉर थ्री लेयर आर्किटेक्चर सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ देर आर थ्री लेयर सो फर्स्ट विल बी द फ्रंट एंड विच विल बी द यू आई which will be visible to the users then second will be the back end and third will be the database layer where we'll store our data so first will be the presentation layer second will be the application and third will be the database layer so we have to create the pipeline for this architecture so basically how will you do it so first we need to understand that our uh, first like our uh, the front end will be written like in node js or something so accordingly we have to uh, do it like we have to follow steps for npm install and something like this then our back end will be in java suppose if it's in java so we have to use maven for that correct then uh, if it is a microservice architecture because mostly now nowadays uh, you have to tell that mostly we prefer microservice architecture instead of monolithic if we are going for monolithic then to we will create like a uh, uh, one pipeline where like uh, all the all the back end front end code will be in one repository in scm right but if we have microservice architecture so there will be different repositories correct which we have to integrate and then we have to deploy so i think this much is clear to everyone that if this is a monolithic architecture so we will require only one repository where all the front end uh, back end and if we have to create a database also we can use terraform which we can keep in the in the same scm but if it is a mi microservice architecture then we will have different repositories which we have to integrate so we have to keep in mind the dependencies and if uh, something is dependent on other thing if it is interdependent then accordingly we have to create the pipeline according to that that if that the the what is dependent on that thing it should be created first and then it should be executed afterwards so all this should be kept in mind clear pipeline we have to keep a check uh if this is uh, uh if this and of course first of all there will branching strategy will be that a master branch will uh, contain the thing that will be deployed in production then we will have development branch then we will have feature branch so uh, the development branch will be going into our, our uat environment our testing environment where we'll be testing will be conducted once all the testing is completed then we'll push all the things in master branch and then we will de start deploying it in production after all the testing after all the scan and everything correct so uh, basically how we will write our pipeline i'll uh, i'll show i'll uh, i'll show how to write it like how uh, i'll give you one example i'll sample and that you can refer so if uh, yeah so the puri pipeline script hai you can take screenshot so yeah let's go so first of all a parallel directive isliye use karte hain so that our both the steps can run parallelly and uh, it can reduce the execution time and if we want ki nahi parallelly run nahi karna hai hame one by one run karna hai then we then we can remove this parallel step so i have told you like i have given you in parallel way also and in simple way also so parallel what it will do it will uh, fetch the check out the code from its branches okay for front end and back end then it will parallelly build for both the front end and back end so for front end we are using npm install because it's a node js i'm assuming this and for uh, back end we are using mvn maven because it's a java code so for this we have written like this and then 
for running test we are uh, we i for just for example purpose i have not given parallel over here so it will be executed one by one and then we are using deploy function and also i have missed but you can put post comma post uh, block also where you can give that on failure you can give this uh, message or on success you can give this message and in deployment we can deploy front end like if there is a requirement to deploy it as a uh, like as a build artifact uh, in s3 bucket you can deploy that and um, Backend you can deploy on uh, Amazon EC2 service or whatever it is required you can deploy like that. So basically this is a pipeline which will be there for a uh, three layer uh, architecture. Uh, so if you will explain like this in your interview uh, I think uh, it will uh, it will be a good answer and if you think that there can be more additions to it or anything uh, can be added in the answer please comment down and yeah so that's all for today's video I hope it's helpful bye